People always say this, I don't have enough time. That is not true. Because we all have the same amount of time and some people deal with it better than others because of priorities are in the right order. So if we want life change, we want to get healthier, we want better marriages, we want to get stronger, we want to get healed, we want to overcome depression, pressure, pace, stress, all these things we're going to look at, then we have to look at our priorities first. Because Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Everyone say all. All. Do you know what all means in the Greek? All. (laughs) Profound, isn't it? All these things. You mean all like emotional health? Yes. Freedom from fear? Yes. Strength? Yes. Healing? Yes. All these things shall be added unto you. But here's the key. It's got to be the right priority, number one. You have to have the right priorities. Now, Satan will tell people, see, it's all about just, you only can be church, 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 serve, 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 give, 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 it's all God. No, no, no. It doesn't say exclusively there, does it? I like to play golf. I like to fish. I like to go on vacation. It's amazing. I've done all those things my whole life and still been able to serve God. It's a condition of your attitude and heart and the right priorities. But here's the thing with most of us, and not most, many of us, we have the wrong priorities. So if you've seen this illustration, this will be a good reminder of life. So we have a jar here, okay, an empty jar. This jar represents your life and how you live it today. Because we've all been given the same amount of time, we've all been given the same answers, we've all been given the same Bible, we've all been given the same choices. Now, what we haven't all been given is the same life circumstances. But we all have the same Jesus, right? Okay? And he can help us with all of our choices whatever we've grown up in and faced. So every one of us has the same jar. We all have been born into a sin-cursed world. We all have the same life. This jar, how we live life. In other words, as you'll see here, this jar represents how you live it and what you fill your life with. Think of that phrase. We all choose our priorities based on what we fill it with. Some of you just would get free if you quit watching the news. But you fill it with three hours of news a day. Can I just tell you, faith has a very hard time working if you watch the news three hours a day. Just saying. So, the jar represents what you live your life, what you fill it with. These golf balls represent your top priorities your most significant priorities in your life. The marbles represent the middle priorities of your life. And we'll talk about what all those are. And sand represents the rest. The little things, the insignificant things, like doing dishes, doing laundry. We can all smell. It's no big deal. No, they're little, but... They're just, they're on the bottom watching television, going to movies, those types of things. So if this is your life and what it represents, what you fill it with matters. So the first thing that we got to learn to fill it with is the right priorities. These are the top priorities, the major things in our lives. This is what the golf ball represents. And so if we fill this up put them all in here, see if I can do this quickly. So how many of you know right now, to the top here, how many know the jar's full? Isn't it? Nope. It's not. See, 
how you fill your life with, when you'd fill it with the right priorities first, you always have room for other things. Your middle priorities. That's what the golf balls represent. I mean, sorry, the marbles represent. The marbles are the middle priorities. Jobs, friends. Let's shake this up. Let's get them in there. Okay. This represents going to work, probably working out, spiritual things. And I could shake it all day and keep getting more in there. But it just represents the middle things. Now, how many know the jar is full? No. Because guess what? The sand represents the small things. And it's amazing how you can take the sand and you can fill it. And it's amazing when your priorities are right, you have time for everything. That means you have time to do laundry and all those fun little stuff. Now is it full? Yeah. Except when priorities are right, there's one other thing that happens, which is amazing, is how many know we allow coffee in the sanctuary? (laughs) Only if an usher brings it to you. Now, I know sometimes some of you get upset because you come and you get your coffee and you want to come in and you want to bring it in. But there's a reason we don't allow coffee with stadium seats because I would hate for somebody to open that top up and accidentally spill it down your back. Amen? When life is in the right order, you always have time for coffee with people you love. And friends. You always have time for that those extra special things. But now you might wonder all the little things that don't matter that we worry about. Can I fit any major priorities in there? What if it was all marbles? Could I fit the big priorities? See, this is what we need to understand. When we fill our lives with the right priorities... Even if we didn't have middle priorities and the small priorities in there, our life still would have significance. Because it's God, family, church. It's the top priorities in our lives that we need to guard and watch. Self-care. We wouldn't miss out on anything, really. Because the most significant things are there. There. 